good morning welcome to currents combined in this video let us study isoprene rule what is isoprene rule this is the structure of isoprene okay and c5h8 and this is the head portion and this is the tail portion we have shown here this is the skeleton structure of isoprene actually terpenoids are important natural products they are made up of two or more isoprene units okay okay let us now see what is isoprene rule on heating terpenoids it gave isoprene two or more isoprene as major products so thermal decomposition of terpenoids gave isoprene as one of the major products so otto wallach suggested that the skeleton of terpenoids are built up of isoprene units based on this result so isoprene rule states that the terpenoid natural product molecules are constructed from two or more isoprene units further ingold proposed that the how the isoprene as you know terpenoids are made up of um, isoprene units how they are linked ingold proposed that the isoprene units are linked in head to tail fashion or one four linkage that is head to tail fashion this is isoprene this in applying isoprene rule please remember we only look at the skeletal unit of the carbon not the double bonds okay this is the head portion okay and this is the tail portion okay this rule is not hard and fast rule this is not a fixed rule this is only a guiding principle because carotenoids or uh, terpenoids only they are joined by tail to tail at the central portion there are also some terpenoids which consist of whose carbon count is not a multiple of 5 okay so this is the isoprene rule is only a guiding principle not a fixed rule hard and fast rule because of the exceptions we found and the basic formula of terpenoids are multiples of isoprene units in this n equal to number of isoprene units linked let us see few examples see this is the skeletal structure of mycin okay there are two isoprene units okay this is head tail head tail in this there are three isoprene units they are linked by one four linkage that is head to tail fashion for example mycin this is this consists of two isoprene units and connected by head to tail manner this is an example of terpenoids with the three isoprene units connected by a head to tail fashion okay how are terpenoids classified they are classified based on the number of isoprene units in their skeletal structure okay for example there are two isoprene units then it is called monoterpenoids monoterpenoids consist of two number of isoprene units okay so the carbon count is 10 c5 h8 n times multiple of isoprene units so 10 limonin citral and if three isoprene units then it is called sesquiterpenoids formazol desmol and if four then 
tight terpenoids vitamin A. Vitamin A is a terpenoid. Terpene. Okay. And then 6 if n equal to 6 then proterpenoids qualify. And if n equal to 8 tetra terpenoid lycopene beta carotene. If n greater than 8 that is poly isosterene poly isosterene is called natural rubber poly isoprene poly isoprene is called polyterpenoids called natural rubber thank you for watching please share and subscribe thank you again